We get an unexpected pop in jobless claims that it might worry people in the markets and think that it gives the Fed a little more incentive to cut rates going forward. 243,000, and as you just said, 229 was the expectation. Continuing claims also jumped a little bit, uh, 1,867,000 from 1,847,000. Last week's initial claims revised to 223. Now, here's the in interesting part of it is jobless claims look for uh, this week's number is based on last week's filings, which was the week, the reference week for the July payrolls report. So this might suggest that we might see a little weakness in the payrolls report, and that would get people interested on Wall Street. We also got Philadelphia Fed. They come in a much higher than anticipated. The forecast was for 2.9. Instead, it's 13 Point nine uh, prices received at uh, twenty four point two from uh, thirteen point seven, and the new orders index at twenty point seven versus negative two point two. Prices paid the other uh, important one nineteen point eight versus twenty two point five. So we've seen some negative employment news, but some positive price news this morning, and that is going to add up to people thinking the Fed is going to cut soon. 